Today we meet Jeanette Ellis, author of Forbidden Rites and expert in the study of witchcraft. Jeanette explains the history of this subject and takes us to the historic town of Mistley, where Matthew Hopkins, the infamous Witchfinder General, began the persecution of British witches. Hi Jeanette, thank you so much for inviting us to your incredible home. Now, we've come today to talk about the history of witchcraft. Now, that's a subject that you've studied for many, many years, and you're an expert in the field on it. But we'd love to really go right back into the past and the history of witchcraft and where it started and, and really where, where it is today. So, if you can tell us the origins of witchcraft and how it all began. Witchcraft itself is sort of lost in the mists of time. Nobody can really put um, a finger on where it started. Uh, there are those that believe that it started early in 1900s. That there are those that think that it's the remnants of the Druid religion. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to actually um, quantify it. And there, of course, there are. There's been persecution of. When I say witches, it's a term that they label people who use magic for bad purposes, mm. which is not, of course, what it means today. Mm. It's just um, those who use magic to heal. Um, but certainly, even back in Roman times, those who used curses were persecuted. Mm -hmm. And to some extent, there's reasons behind that. Mm -hmm. It's like committing a murder to use to the excess mm. of um, magic so there were reasons for that but when we come into um, well 1480 onwards to 1700 which is when it really uh, kicked off in Europe um, and most people think of as the times of persecution the for witches times, yeah. Um, <coughs> not so much the burning time, certainly not in England. Oh, okay. That's a myth. Oh, right. Um, witches were hung in England. Right. And, but across Europe, unfortunately, um, yes, they were burnt. It sort of started um, in um, Holland and round and the areas. The worst was in South Germany, mm. southwest Germany. Um, and France, and of course, fueled by the Inquisition, um, there were spread, between yes, yes it, it spread it completely. Spread. It's there were between forty thousand to a hundred thousand people. So where did the word witch actually come from, and then the word witchcraft? Where what they're Anglo-Saxon. They okay. mean wise woman. Right. They're something totally different. Um, but. When I say that um, the witchcraft was persecuted in ancient Rome, that's where people have used that word to describe people who use bad magic mm. or dark magic, black magic, if you choose to use the term. Mm -hmm. Right, Jeanette, if you can just tell us the history behind the Thorn Inn. The original of this inn, um, it lasted about 100 years. This one was built in 1700. Um, was owned by Matthew Hopkins. He actually bought it um, with money that he got from his father's will. Mm. And this is one of the places he used to walk um, his subjects. Oh, right. The, both men and women. Mm -hmm. If you can just tell us how Matthew Hopkins himself came to his end. Yes. He was operating as Witchfinder General for about three years. Mm -hmm. During that time, he killed 240 men and women. Okay. But he, after three years, 
died an early death at 27 with TB or consumption as they would have called it mm. there's documented proof that he died on the 12th of August 1647 of TB mm -hmm. so we do know that uh, where he ended his days and at quite an early age yes it sounds like um, his karma came back yeah to take him it does indeed mm -hmm.